Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to show effects and sends in the track control panel in Reaper. Now, the track control panel in Reaper is a section over here when compared to the mixer, which looks like this. And the advantage in the mixer, at least up until recently, is we could adjust our effects or plugins up here and our sends down here separately from over here in the effects chain or the routing. It's a bit more flexible to adjust our effects one at a time in a separate floating window like this or this and so on. And we could also do things individually using modifiers. For example, if you want to bypass this plugin, just hold down the shift key and it bypasses just that plugin. Unbypass it, bypass this one, which is more flexible than bypassing them on the track over here, which bypasses all of them at the same time. And we could also copy our plugins just by dragging them to a different track. Grab the CQ, drag it over here and drop it. That adds the EQ with its settings to this track. And we could delete or remove the plugin, Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, and just click it to remove just that plugin. Or we can move our plugins, Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, and just drag it from here to here. And that moves the plugin from this track to this track. Again, saving our settings. Let's move it back. And we can also change the order just by dragging this one up here to change the order of our plugins. Again, a bit more flexible than opening them up in here. But now we can do all this with the track control panel over here. If we go to the options menu, and these are off by default, we could choose show effects, inserts, and track control panel. But it's only when size permits. So if we turn this on, we don't see a change. Unless we make the tracks a bit bigger, which we could see right now. I have re-EQ and re-comp on this track. We can click it to open up just that plugin or float it, hit it again to close it. So we can adjust our compressor and close it by clicking the button again. Again, more flexible than doing it from the effects chain. Let's make the tracks a bit bigger. And now we can copy them from track to track. Let's copy the EQ from here to here. We could delete them, Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, or move them with the same modifier. Or bypass them, holding down Shift, to bypass each plugin or effects separately, which again is more flexible than doing it over here, which bypasses all the effects on this track. Shift to bypass or unbypass. And again, we could change the order just by moving them around. Now, previously, we could add parameters to the track control panel, and we could still do that here. Like for our compressor, we could touch our threshold, choose the option to show in track controls, and we see the threshold right here where we can control this parameter in the plugin. While it's open, or even while it's closed, we can see its level and adjust it right here. And that's always worked in Reaper, but it's still going to work with these new changes. Maybe for the EQ, we could add the gain right here and adjust our gain for that EQ from the track control panel with this open or if it's closed. 
And just like with these, we can delete them both on the PC, option on the Mac, so we don't see those parameters. And we can do the same thing with the sends. Let's make these tracks smaller. Let's add a new track down here. We'll name it Reverb. Maybe we want to add Reverb to each of the tracks. Just select them all, hold down Shift, and grab the routing button and drop it on the Reverb return. That's going to add a send to each one of our tracks. But again, if we want to see them, we have to hit the routing button on each track and adjust it here. Or we could add a new option that's been added to Reaper. Go to the Options menu and choose Show Sends in Track Control Panel when Size Permits. This is off by default. Again, if we choose this, nothing changes. Let's make the tracks a bit bigger. And now we can see a send on each one of our tracks. We can adjust it, how much reverb we want, without having to open up the routing button each time. We can see it and adjust it right from here. And just like with the effects, we could delete them, alt on the PC, option on the Mac. We could copy them just by dragging them over from track to track. Very useful for getting the perfect level on one send and copying it to other tracks. Just drag it over and it copies the same send with the same level we set up. Hold down Shift to bypass the send, Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac to delete them, copy them by dragging, or move them, Option on the Mac, Alt on the PC, from one track to another. And again, we can show or hide the sends from here or the effects from here. But it's a new feature that's added in Reaper that I find a lot more useful. So that's pretty much it. That's how to show the effects and the sends in the track control panel in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Oh!